The Frisian is probably one of the most recognizable horses. Its unique frame combines elegance with a powerful appearance. The only preferred color is actually a solid black, although some horses are known to carry the recessive extension gene and therefore have the potential of producing chestnuts. Complementing its muscular frame is a long arched neck that is often carried high, an elegant baroque head and long legs, and lastly a long thick wavy mane and tail with feathers rounds off this majestic horse. The Frisian's movements are just as impressive as its appearance, with an iconic high-stepping trot which makes them popular carriage horses. Their temperament is a perfect blend of a horse willing to work, energetic, and still gentle and docile. A horse that used to be favored in battles for their courage, popular among royalty for their beauty, and to this day a head-turner in public. So, early ancestors were popular war horses because of their size and bravery. Knights needed a horse that could quickly and easily maneuver the battlefields and carry the weight not only of the rider but also the heavy armor. So, as the name already suggests, Breed was developed in Friesland, which is the northern part of the Netherlands. And although the breed did go through many hardships and nearly extinction on more than one occasion, fans of this breed have helped kept it alive. So in the 19th century, a stud book was created. However, here it gets a bit tricky. The first stud book that was created was actually in 1879. It not only included Frisians, but also heavy warm bloods. Um, they were known as the Bovlanders, and they became actually more popular. So it was more popular to breed these Bovlanders with Frisian mares than it was to breed purebred Frisians. So that made the necessity for Frisian stallions un unnecessary. And again, the breed was close to extinction. However, in 1913, a society um, was founded to protect and promote the breed. And they did so by splitting the stud book between Frisians and these Bovlanders, these heavy warm bloods, which are now known as the Dutch warm blood. Also a very um, famous sport horse nowadays. But that actually helped the Frisians, so it could have a fresh start and the stud book that was dwindled down to, I think, three stallions at the time could re-flourish. <laughs> and that basically saved the breed. Nowadays, the horse is equally used as a harness horse, so pulling a carriage or under saddle. They are also used for dressage, or a very popular activity is using them in movies and TV shows. Because they are really calm and brave horses, they don't mind the hustle and bustle of the film industry, yet they look very presentable and proud as majestic horses carrying their riders. So they're very popular in Hollywood or just generally the film industry. Now, there are two types of Frisians actually nowadays. There's the one that's a bit lighter, a bit on the lighter side, lighter boned. They look more um, agile, elegant, more like warm bloods. And those are popular horses that are used for dressage, for jumping, for any modern FAE recognized horse sports. And then there's the type, of course, the old classic type, the Baroque type, that's, that's heavier and powerful and um, those are used as popular carriage horses or as normal saddle horses. And since Star Stable has also tossed around the word Frisian sport horse, I thought I'd just mention it too. So basically the point of the Frisian sport horse is to create a Frisian that's more of a warm blood type, that's more of a sport horse than it is the Baroque type. So these horses can be used more for dressage and jumping and FAE um, recognized horse sports disciplines. So in other words, they're basically just Frisian outcrosses, Frisian crossed with another horse breed.
I hope you enjoyed this video on the Frisian horse. If you like it, just give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, um, leave it in the comments below and I'll be more than happy to answer them. And if you enjoyed this, let me know because more breeds are planned for the future. All right, bye.